Hi, and welcome back. Um, I do apologize. My voice sounds a little bit different. I'm a little bit under the weather. So I'm going to try to go through it um, and not to keep you for too long. But let's get started. This is the Allure Beauty Box for the month of, what is it, for the September month. And we have, as always, the little brochure. This time Allure came in first out of all the boxes. Well, it actually came together with the Ipsy uh, Boxy Charm, but um, kind of, I'll say that this is first. If you want to screenshot the pages. There you go. Do you guys have the same reaction to cold foods? I had a cold watermelon and that's what I get now with this little voice hopefully it goes away and nothing else more serious a little insert we're gonna set that aside so let's take a look at the products so we have first one is ren clean clean skincare and this is a brightening dark circle eye cream and very different Trying to see, it says UK, but I guess as anything else packaged in United States. Let's see the packaging, whether it's like a glass bottle or something similar. And it's not, it's plastic and kind of like a pumpy looking situation. So I do not personally like the pumps because it's a lot of wasted products personally. And I do if I purchase something myself, I do go in into the packaging and I pull it apart. So sometimes you don't see, I do do empties every month. And sometimes you don't see those empties because I just shred them. I pull them apart because I want to get the tiniest piece of that product. And there's no packaging to show. Or if I show it, it's going to look ghetto. And I don't want to do that. So sometimes you don't see the, the all the empties, but I try my best. The next item is Red Flower. And this is a cleansing hair wash. Palo Santo is the smell. This is something promising. Trees hold life. Cruelty free. Here's the ingredients if you're curious about the ingredients. This is interesting. Let me smell it. I kind of in between the shampoo and the... Okay, the smell is very nice. It's clear, you guys. So here you go. And the smell, I can't pinpoint it, but it's some kind of herbally smell, but not overwhelming, and it's very pleasant. I would actually not mind if my hair smelled like this or if my hands. So if they would do something like a hand, uh, uh, hand cream or something, I would definitely... Uh, definitely um, use this as a hand cream. The smell is very nice. So um, looking forward to trying this for sure. The next item, oh, it's kind of heavy. <laughs> so I pulled the whole box after it is the Transform Your Shower Coconut Cream and Hints of uh, Lychee or Lychee. This is, I love Lychee actually. Um, love anything with them fresh or like a juice juices or watered down version i just like it oh this is dove you guys this is dove and this is a cleansing bar made with good stuff let's see it is sealed but obviously there's no point of opening it but if you can see that i kind of pushed it in front the smell is nice it does smell coconutty and kind of like fresh, clean sheets. I like it. it. It's very refreshing. I don't smell the lychee because of the coconut. So the coconut is a little bit on the strong side. Not strong coconut as I've had other products. Some products are super heavy with coconut. I, I wouldn't call it heavy. Um, obviously, I can't speak on it unless I actually try it in the shower. Um, and use water with it so maybe it's gonna come back being strong but you never know so i'll have to test it and feel it and 
let you know later on. And this is a clean it and excuse my nail. I, I had to butcher it. It broke on me so I had to fix the rest of them so they look somewhat um, even. And this, this is a little ouch you guys. I have to complain to somebody or cry. Not really complain, it's a cry. Clean it zero and this is a cleansing balm. So I did, um, I do have Elemis cleansing balm. This is just on the side note. I'm not, I'm not liking it, you guys. I tried it two different times. First was a long time ago. This is Korean product, you guys. And I'll, I'll try this. Obviously, maybe like I'll take it on a trip with me. And I actually broke the seal. It was sealed. I, I think you heard it. Um, but I tried the Elemis one a couple of times, hoping that I like it. And I don't. It's still kind of like blue purplish tint to it. I'm sure it's clear, but it just looks like that in the bottle. Uh, the smell, to be honest with you, now I'm smelling everything like this or like this. It might be the coconut. It just sat in the box too long because it's open. So it doesn't have a plastic cover on it. So I'm guessing that it kind of got all over the place with the smell. So either it's the same or similar smell to the coconut or... I can't smell it, but I'll definitely try it since it's Korean. We'll be a little bit biased in a good way and hoping that it works because, like I said, the Elemis one does not, I, I'm not into it. I know people are going crazy about it. Not my thing. It's, um, it will get into your eyes. Like, I wash my face. I should be able to wash my face without, like, stinging and, and all of that. So, um, I do Clinique. I know uh, I've spoke about it so many times, it's like a broken record, but Clinique does not sting your eyes. The Elemis Balm did, and I did not enjoy it or appreciate it from them. So, so this is the troublemaker, you guys. This was the choice for the month, and I took, obviously, the lightest, and this is Naughty and Spice, and the troublemaker is because a lot of people, I don't know if it was everybody or just a couple, including myself, were charged for this choice, you guys. 35 something dollars we were charged for the choice. The color is beautiful. Uh, it is my color, kind of mauve pink. It looks like somebody used it, but I don't think anybody did. Yeah, I don't think they did. Just the finish on it is that way. But it, it looks even prettier in person. So this is for sure my color. This is um, uh, similar to like mauve pink. Um, Definitely looking forward to trying this. This is even awesome for like travel. Does it have? Oh, yes. Look at that. It's similar to the Mario um, bl blushes as well. So um, like a blush stick or like a contour stick where you have the dual ended, you have the brush. This is fabulous. I don't know about the thickness or the wideness of the brush. I would prefer it a little bit slightly, maybe like slimmer, maybe not as chunkier or smaller i would be afraid because if you have a somewhat not big face like an average face i would think that this might be a little bit too much because smaller brush you can kind of you know you can spread more if you need to but with the bigger brush it's a little bit harder but definitely um, and this is a nude sticks yes but you guys, we were already charged $35 for this. Yes, they, they gave it back to me. Actually, they gave it back to me a week later, even though I right away sent them an email. I thought it was just a boo-boo just with me. So I sent them an email saying, hey, you guys, this happened. Uh, but it took them almost a week to um, to take care of that charge. And that was done on the 2nd. And today is the 11th. So even more than a week. But we'll we'll forgive them. The next item, you guys, is Beauty for Certain. And this is, what is this? And this is gloss, high pigment gloss in diamond. Definitely not for me, but looks super pretty. And I would have loved this when I was a kid. When I was a teenager, I oh, slapped this baby on. Uh, different packaging, um, looks somewhat young. So I'm guessing this is for somebody maybe not more mature audience, especially with the glitter that's there. But definitely interesting and fun. 
And the last item, you guys, and this is some kind of liner, I'm guessing. It's, let me read it. It's a Dear Midnight Stella Lip Liner Pencil. So it is a lip liner. It is sealed. I don't want to open it for now. The color looks slightly darker than I need. I would have opened it um, if, if I was any chance, if I had any chance that it would work for me. But it doesn't look like it. Uh, but this is from Stella. And um, yeah, so eyeliner so this is it you guys i'm loving all the products even though two of them are for sure not for me i'm still loving them because they're new they're fresh they're unique uh and this is what i want my boxes to be is fabulous new items even the soap although you know how i feel about cleansing products so it is what it is loving it loving it loving it allure did surprise me thank you allure and thank you for giving me giving back my 35 dollars. and if you can see here usps had a little boo-boo i just appreciate that nothing fell out of the box while it was coming to me thank you guys for watching if you have any questions or comments please write it below or just say hi and i'll say hi back i'll try to take care of my voice so that the next video is not as bad but no guarantee and i'll see you on the next box bye